everything inside me. Lady Gaga's videos and performances are extremely symbolic and filled with hidden messages. Her old video, named Bad Romance, describes the dark and ritualistic inner workings of the entertainment industry by symbolically depicting Gaga as a sex slave. This video examines the occult symbols present in the video and its hidden meaning. The video for the song Bad Romance is a mix of deep symbolism with sheer randomness, creative fashion with corporate product placements and modern-day decadence with religious imagery, all rolled up in a great big music industry celebration. Gaga uses her oddball theatrical presence to its full extent to shock, creep out and fascinate the viewers. I've mentioned the presence of mind control elements, of the horned god Baphomet, of secret societies and so on. Far from steering away from those themes, Gaga's latest offering incorporates all of them in this video, which is a great big metaphor for the music industry. Let's look at this song. Bad Romance is the first single out of Gaga's Fame Monster album. If you look back at her past works, the main message of her music is that she is willing to do anything, even sacrifice herself, to obtain fame. The video continues in the same vein, by depicting Gaga as a willing victim in the music industry's shady inner workings. She wants to live a bad romance with the abusive cruel and satanic music industry. She's aware of all of its flaws, but she still desires to be part of it more than anything else. She is a fame monster. She feeds off of fame. She enjoys being famous. If she is not famous, she'll die or something. You get the picture. At face value, the song lyrics seem to be about her wanting to get banged by a kind of psychopath, but the video reveals that the psychopath is, in fact, the music industry. The song starts with a weird chant that goes. Is there a deeper meaning to it? Ra, as the name of the ancient Egyptian sun god, is still of great importance in today's occultism. Roma may be a reference to the Roman Catholic Church, but I'm not sure. This could be interpreted in many ways, so I won't linger on it. I want your ugly, I want your disease. I want your everything, as long as it's free. I want your love. Love 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 I want your love. I want your drama, the touch of your hand. I want your leather studded kiss in the sand, I want your love. Love love love, I want your love. Right away, it is obvious, that the love that Gaga is seeking, is wrong and sick. She's a sick slave, and apparently, she likes it. She knows that the industry is ugly, but she still wants him. There is an obvious sense of sadomasochism, as she seems to know that this love, of success in the music industry, will hurt her, and treat her badly, but she's up for it. As we will examine in the video, there is also a spiritual meaning to the lyrics, where fame equals submitting to the dark satanic side of the music industry. In other words, the song is also about submitting to evil, and the imagery of the video corroborates this fact. I want your horror, I want your design. Cause you're a criminal, as long as you're mine. I want your love. Love 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 I want your love ooh. I want your psycho, your vertigo stick. Want you in my rear window, baby you're sick. I want your love. Love love love. Here again, there is a mix of the horror of evil with hardcore sex references, which convey the fact that she wants to be penetrated by this evil influence in order to gain its favors. There are references to Hitchcock movies, Psycho, Vertigo, that are cleverly turned into sexually explicit lyrics. During the bridge, Gaga sings emotionally, I don't want to be friends. She does not want to be an outsider of the music industry, she wants to be part of it. Later she says, I want your love, and, all your lover's revenge, which means, that she wants all of the attention of the music industry, to the point that she also wants the hate of the artists who are jealous of her. Of course, the lyrics are open to interpretation, but the visuals of the video really give a particular meaning to the words. Gaga is not singing to a person, but to a group, an entity, an organization. 
She is singing to the occult elite, to the music industry, to Baphomet. To the ones that have the power to make her famous. She wants to be part of that sinister and corrupt system, and write a bad romance with it. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Aside from the main storyline, the video is riddled with numerous symbols and images which are occult in nature. Here are some of them. Sun Symbolism There are many symbols referring to the sun in the video. As said earlier, Ra is an Egyptian sun god who is mentioned many times in the magic incantation like Ra Ra chant. Sun worship has always been at the center of occult mysteries, as it is considered to be the ultimate representation of God. This snapshot shows image of the sun in the razor blade shades. She is wearing a golden dress. Gold is representative of the sun in occultism. This snapshot shows golden sunlight bringing her back to life. And this is Gaga at the center of planetary orbits. Anti-Christian Symbolism Christianity has always been at odds with occult secret societies. Persecutions and accusations come from both sides, and one often defines itself by the negating the other. This is also represented in the video. The word monster with a Christian cross underneath it, crines a not so subliminal unconscious association. The cross associated with the word monster is also seen on her promotional pictures. Notice the position of her hands. This screenshot shows a cross placed right on her privates, no matter what religion you are, you know this is not a sign of respect. In this choreography, Gaga does what looks like the sign of the cross, but her hand gesture describes a triangle instead. Enjoy my brilliantly drawn triangle to help you visualize it. Reptilian Monster Symbolism In some scenes, Gaga gradually starts to look like reptilian monster, with a focus on the spine. Emphasis on the spine. By the way, why is her spine glowing? Bulging spine. I'm not sure of what she is doing with her fingers either. There is a great resemblance with the devil in this painting by Michael Pocker. Notice the spine. Lady Gaga's Bad Romance is by far the densest and most symbolic video I've ever analyzed. It is a metaphorical yet accurate description of the steps which must be taken in order to become part of the mega pop star machine. Submission, control, business negotiations, initiation, secrecy and the embrace of dark forces are all represented in the video. Once decoded, the song describes indeed the bad romance of the music industry. The machine uses artists, it pimps them, it cheats on them with new hotter artists, and it finally dumps them when the initial appeal is lost. Gaga, the fame monster, wants to be treated that way, knowing that there is not any other way to obtain worldwide fame. One might be extremely creative and talented, however fame can only be achieved through the exposure provided by the media corporations. They are owned by a secretive elite, represented by the masks on the faces of the bidders in the video. Bad romance, more than simply serving the required dose of subversive symbolism to the MTV generation, offers a chilling description of a music industry ruled by the elite. And now comes the hardest part. Getting this song out of my head. Comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This Everything Inside Me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.